Quality and safety is really the biggest thick driver. Um, it doesn't need to cost lots of money, I have to say. They're not um, mutually exclusive, but you know, it's got to cost a lot of money if you have good quality. Um, but you've got to be measuring the right things and putting them in the faces of people so that they get the information so they can say there's an issue. try and do is to get every specialty to say come up with what's important to you because you'll have we'll have various things that NHSI require us to report on you know, letters to all that kind of stuff that's fine but what's important to you what is it about your service that you think makes you makes you good or bad because I say to them you know people come to me say your whatever service is rubbish what can you tell me that says it's not because I've got these indicators so a lot of them have worked it out. So cardiology have got vast data on how they match up against national things. Obviously, cardiac surgery does. They're relatively easy because there's so much national data. For the softer ones in surgery particularly, that's difficult. So I was an ENT surgeon, so how do you measure whether someone's nose is on? You know, so there are proxies for that. And medicine, of course, is difficult again because there's so much diversity in medicine. But uh, I think you can do, you know, get down to what is important um, and also what is important to the patient. I think that's the other thing. If you're looking at seven-day services, what's in, you know, we need to ask the patient what's important to you. And I don't think people do that enough. So we say, well, you need to have access seven days a week. Do we ask the patients that? It just seems like a good idea to somebody that we do that. Um, but not necessarily. So... We, you know, we, we, I get the services to actually ask, what is it important to you? you know, and that's parking, obviously. <laughs> but actually, you know, getting being seen at a reasonable time, being seen somewhere near the time I'm, you know, said to be seen. Organisational things, they assume quality, which is why I think that's why we have to concentrate on it because patients kind of assume they're going to get high quality. We need to make sure they do because they were they're making the assumption they are. You know, there's various centres of real excellence within this organisation. It's about trying to spread that out, because that's something the NHS has always struggled with. Uh, you know, you have one good ward here and one bad right next door, and you're going, well, why? how is that happening? Uh, and so there are variability within the organisation, but if we hear of variability, um, then we try and deal with it as well. We don't shy away from it. And the board are very keen that we don't. about it is it it's more about the quality um so we do get very concerned when we have incidents you know so so time to theater is a good example you know nobody measures that in you know nationally there isn't a target for time to theater but we do um, and i'm sure other places do as well and pe and when we get complaints and significant complaints like that, they do come to the board and they go well what's going on here then you know and why are we like this and so again i don't think if you said seven days to the board they kind of um, well, I'm sure it's very important that we know about it, but actually, um, is there a thing you can put your finger on that says that's the, that's the seven-day board? They wouldn't do that, but they're very hot on quality. Um, and so, you know, the quality report, the quality um, uh, committee that looks after the subcommittee of the board, which is chaired by a non-executive, you know, is all over this stuff, but those various measures saying, you know, these are, what's these are what are important. So if you said seven days, they'd probably go, yes, we know we've got to do it. And they could tell you that at the weekend we're pretty good and always have been pretty good, um, but they wouldn't be able to tell you what had happened specifically around seven days. Because I think, again, I think it's what, what are you trying to achieve by seven days? Instead of we're trying to achieve seven days, what are you actually trying to achieve by seven days? Which is consistency, good consistency through the week. And so you need to be able, and so we do demonstrate that our mortality is good through the week. We, don't, we can demonstrate you know, how our access to theatres, access to investigations is good. But we couldn't demonstrate that, that we did that because of seven days. Well, we could because um, having had mid-staffs to the south of us, we were very keen not to be in that place. And we were very conscious that um, it is only 15 miles. We now run the old mid-staffs. Um, but, you know, it, uh, and it is about what's really important to an organisation. You know, you, what is it about this organisation that will make you proud of it? Yes, it'd be great to have fantastic finances. Yes, it would be. We should do far better at A and E. But actually, if you can put your hand on your heart and say that, you know, we are a quality organisation. That you know, I think it's seventy-four percent in the last thing of our staff would like to be treated here. You know, those are the important things that actually do say. Actually, we're not doing a bad job here. Um, yeah, we we need to do better at the other things. Um, because I think the board has always here been focused on quality. The chief nurse has been 
particularly focused on quality. Um, and as I say, that's not only quality that you can measure, but patient experience as well, because we get a lot of feedback from the public. I really think it's about how you get your doctors, nurses and other professionals to actually look at what the problems within their specialty are. You know, because it needs to come down to what are the issues in, in my case, ENT? You know, what is the problem? Is it that the patients aren't being seen on a weekend? Is it, you know, whatever it is. And what could you suggest to, to improve on that? And that's not just doctors, that's nurses and everyone else. Some of that is doable. Some of it, you can have to, you know, the board will say that's you know, far too expensive and so on. But you can make small changes that make a real difference. Um, and often, life is easier. So the radiology one's a great example. They used to come in after a weekend, the radiologist, and find masses of reporting to do. They probably told you. If you actually work through the weekend, because you're in most of the time anyway looking at emergencies, guess what? Monday's better for everybody. So one of you gets a, pretty, a not great weekend, or two of you, or three of you. But actually, everyone else gets a much better week, and when your turn comes around, so actually flowing it through um, makes everyone's life easier. No one comes into a wall of work the first thing in the morning. So a lot of this is both to the benefit of the patient and the clinicians, and it doesn't need to be difficult. And actually, as I say, most clinicians, if they see the need, will deal with the problem.